Hey guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You're a returning subscriber. As always, guys, welcome back. And I do appreciate the support. Guys, as uh, the time for the Tyree Nichols case trial date is supposed to be uh, announced, I think it's November 5th or 6th. So I wanted to state that. This video right here, as you guys have been knowing, I've been following this case ever since like it hit the mainstream uh, media and uh, I'm very entrenched in it. And it's very emotional following this case. I've been down to Memphis, shout out to Memphis by the way. I want the uh, both stops, stop one, stop two. I discovered how he got covered so much ground from that first stop to the second stop. I showed you guys uh, the little pathway that he took I measured the distance that he ran for his life before he finished up getting caught and beaten 40 to 60 yards from his own home, calling for his mother. I've covered this whole thing all the way up until now. I've just did four of the five officers and what I think their defense plan is going to be and why they're doing and, and shifting into position, defensive postures prior to the uh, trial date to position themselves to prove that they're innocent, even though they all contributed to the death of Tyree Nichols in one way or another. But this last person I'm going to do, and I saved him for last, and a lot of y'all have been waiting for him. This one right here, Emmett Martin III. This guy right here is the worst of the worst. The quiet storm. A lot of people want to separate themselves. Well, the other three officers, Desmond Mills Jr., Tadarius Bean, Justin Smith, want to separate themselves after seeing the tape and seeing the discovery and all of that. They want to separate themselves from Demetrius Haley and Emmett Martin III. Why is that? I'll tell you why. Uh, Demetrius Haley ran his mouth, implicated everybody, said what everybody did in his braggadocious form as his dumbass does. Emmett Martin didn't really say that much, except for, you know, a couple of things that I'll cover in this story. But he sat there after it was over and went along with the, with the program. Guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you. In fact, I'll say it right now. I said all of these officers are responsible for the death of Tyree, the beating death of Tyree. But the one that really put the nail in the coffin. And I will show you proof. Emmett Martin III is the one who murdered Tyree Nichols. With the help of the other officers, his overly aggressive actions, what he did at scene two, how he acted in scene one, I don't know if he was having a bad day or what, but it makes me think, honestly, two things. If Tyree Nichols had stayed at that first scene, would he still be alive? Because that was a more public scene, it was more lights out there, it was a traffic place. Somebody would have got that on camera. They would have had to be more discretionary because they handled him differently in the first uh, stop than they did at the second when it was in under the cover of darkness and not knowing that that sky cam was there. That's the first thing. Would he still be alive if he had never ran from that first thing? I don't know. That's open for debate. The second thing is this. If Emmett Martin III was not one of the responding officers from the Scorpion unit that responded to Tyree Nichols' stop, would Tyree Nichols still be alive? That's another thing up for debate. I say yes. I say yes. And I'll explain that in another video moving forward up until this trial date in November, in early November. But this man right here, the Black Death, the Quiet Storm, Emmett Martin III, from his physical handling of Ty Tyree Nichols, he's the one that killed him. And if you don't believe me, Check out the all top opsy report and go watch the video. A lot of y'all been covering this story with me. A lot of y'all have been watching this video. You know, I've been running this for a while. I'm going to call this right down the middle. All honesty, he killed Tyree Nichols. Look. But let's start with this. The autopsy done by the West Tennessee Regional Forensic Center confirms Nichols died of blunt force trauma to the head. They ruled his manner of death a homicide. Now the report reveals he had swelling and bruises on his brain and blunt force injuries to his neck, torso and extremities. 
He also had liver and kidney damage and too much fluid in his lungs. X-rays, though, showed no fractures. The report mentions the night of the beating, Nichols' heart flatlined at the scene. CPR was initiated, and at the hospital, he was put on a ventilator. He died three days later. The toxicology report shows some medications in his system were administered at the hospital. It also states there was a sample taken at the hospital that detected some THC in his system. Alcohol was also detected, an amount under the legal driving limit equivalent to about two beers for his weight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was it. And uh, that was the proof. Now, if you have watched the video, or you haven't watched the video, let me tell you a little bit about the whole situation. At the first stop, what is it called, Rains Road? Or, or, or I can't remember what road it was, Rains Road? Where it was at that intersection? The first stop, the three officers were Preston Hemfield, Demetrius Haley, uh, what you call it? And uh, Emmett Martin III. Emmett Martin III, guys, in case you don't know who's who, is the one that said, I'll break your effing arm. He's also the one that tried to twist his arm when he was like, hey, I can't do anything. Demetrius Haley was the one that was basically doing a lot of uh, trash talking. And uh, Emmett Martin was the one that's telling Hemphill to tase him. When Hemphill didn't tase him when he was on the ground, he was like, tase him, tase him, tase him. He's the one that was holding Tyree's arm so Tyree couldn't turn over. The only person that was rational at that site at that first stop was Tyree Nichols. He said multiple times, I can't turn over. He has my arm. They kept saying, get on the ground. He's like, I'm on the ground. What more could he do? The over aggressiveness of uh, Emmett Martin almost single handedly brought up the demise of Tyree Nichols. Did. He was twisting Tyree Nichols' arm. Tyree, then he sprayed his face. Tyree Nichols said, hey, the hell with this. These cops ain't even acting like normal police officers. He got up. He ran in a circle. When he ran in that circle, they were confused, especially Emmett Martin. If you go back and look at the video and you look real quick, when he ran in that circle and the body camera Hempfield looked at him, right? Emmett Martin stood there after he sprayed him with the mace like, what the hell? And watched him go around in the circle, ran off Demetrius Haley, blinded by the mace, runs after him, Hempfield in pursuit. Emmett Martin never left the scene. He stayed there with the cop cars. He stayed there on the scene. They come back, Emmett Martin leaves. Emmett Martin catches up with Tyree Nichols, along with Chadarius Bean and Justice Smith at the second stop. Now, we're at the second stop, right? Pay attention. Bean and uh, Justin Smith swung on him a couple of times. Didn't really do no damage to him because they stupid. They was punching each other. I don't know where they got these, their training from. All these cops look stupid. But anyway, when they got to the corner and they were trying to put his hands behind his back or whatever, when he had one handcuff or whatever that, what they were saying, I guess Emmett Martin said, hey, the hell with this. And he, he, he did him like he would somebody in a street fight or a bar fight. First thing is, I'm going to show you. When Tyree Nichols was on the ground, he kicked him in the face three times. Hard. Hard. The way you could see his head going back and he was trying to put his hands up. What in those kicks told you that that wasn't excessive force? Who kicks somebody in the face like that? You only see that type of stuff on action movies when thugs do that to the good guy or they're terrorizing somebody and somebody comes to break it up. Not only that, now I said he died from blunt force trauma to the head and neck. Injuries to his brain. They stood him up. Emmett Martin. Hit this man five times as hard as he could. And they said it at the end. Remember, they said it at the end. When he punched him the first two times, he was fixing himself. They was holding him. He's spinning around. Justin Smith, Jadaris Bean held him in position. So they're not innocent in this. 
fired on him. The last three times he punched Tyree Nichols is what did him in. And where a lot of those brain injuries besides those kicks came in the bend. I want you to remember, this man right here, Emmett Martin, played college football, 6'3", 250, 260 pounds. That is a big human being, ladies and gentlemen. The third, fourth, and fifth punches is what finished Tyree Nichols. He grabbed him like this, held him, and then pulled him to him as he punched his face. The way his head moved in an unnatural position was horrifying to me. A man shaped like spaghetti and you have to punch him like that all in the name of putting handcuffs on him and one is already on him? All these cops need to be fried in fish grease. His antics and violence towards somebody that looks like him that he could have easily subdued by himself. He did all of this. He did it with the help of these two demons holding them up. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. He single-handedly killed Tyree Nichols with his actions. With his actions. And they allowed it. They allowed it. I've been in different scenarios where I've seen people fighting. And I've seen somebody take a blow and everybody's like, oh, we got to break it up. Nobody did that. Then they come under the guys after. Listen. Let me say this, and this is messed up. Them last three punches, guys, when they hit, when Emmett Martin hit Tyree Nichols, right? He fell to his knees. Like he just was falling. He just slowly went down. It was over. It was over. They said he flatlined at the scene. I did videos where I'm like, yo, he's like, he's dying. Bill, Lieutenant Dwayne Smith looked at him, had the camera on him. I think he took a video of Tyree Nichols. I think he honestly did. Never rendered aid, just stared at him. You seen he was in pain. That man suffered. Go look at the video. Go look at the last part. He fell over several times. He was suffering. Brain injury. Neck injury. <coughs> he couldn't talk inaudible when he was speaking. They let him suffer. EMTs came up. You didn't see that was a cold blue or a cold red or whatever they call it. You didn't see, hey, we got to get him in the thing. He was conscious when you got there. He flatlined on the scene, guys. On the scene. From the kicks and punches of one Emmett Martin III. He killed Tyree Nichols. That's why they want separate trials. Because they know the punching and kicking came from him. Now you see how it all unfolds? That's why they don't want to be around him. He the one that beat him up. Demetrius Haley when it ran his mouth and implicated all of us. We don't want to be around him because now he got to keep them statements in court. Their credibility already shot as a unit. Been disbanded immediately. We don't want to be associated with the rest of it. But you are. You held him up, held him down on the ground with his face to get them kicks. I will be down in Memphis to see the looks on their faces when they get thrown into the fire. I feel nothing for these people. A lot of people sit up here and defend police. And trust me, I do respect police officers, the good ones. But when you have officers like this, that run amok in society and beat the shit out of uh, normal standing citizens and treat everybody the same because of the area they live in or the color of their skin sometimes. I have no respect for you. No respect. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Judgment Day is coming. The light's on. You see the roaches scrambling. We'll see where it goes from here. See you in the next video.